Hi, this is Roger from Tractor Land Inc. I'm uh, here doing a small demonstration tonight for a um, how-to video for replacing points and condenser on the front-mounted distributor of a uh, flathead Ford tractor engine. Uh, they're all very much the same from the 9N, 2N through the 8N uh, that used the front-mounted distributor and so we're just going to go ahead and and do this little project tonight and um, there'll be ongoing projects related to this and other parts of uh, this tractor, these tractors and uh, uh, of other uh, Fords and Fergusons to come. First as you can see the distributor is been removed from the tractor. It requires two bolts to remove it from the tractor. The coil is simply held on with this metal bale and then the uh, distributor cap is held on with these two clips. So we have a very small piece of uh, part here to work with tonight. Um, it, it doesn't really matter exactly how you take this apart in order. I prefer to remove the condenser from the top first and get it out of the way. Probably should have <clears throat> prepared myself a little better by loosening some of the screws and things like the professionals do, but I didn't. This doesn't take too long to go through the procedure. Um, first that was the screw that holds the hold down of the condenser and then there's the big screw on top where the coil wire attaches and that loosens up and you can remove the lead from the condensing unit condenser, I should say. There is the screw here at the top of the points. Um, holds the uh, metal bands from the breaker point here assembly to the part that's mounted to the uh, actual breaker housing, the stator plate. And a little <coughs> cotter key in which we have to use a small pliers to squeeze it together to pull it out of the way. So simple. Easier said than done, right? Sometimes these things can be difficult. Other times they're much easier. Tonight, of course, because I'm doing this, of course it's much more difficult than normal. And I can just now pry this, this piece out of the distributor off of a peg that it's just sitting on. You can see now when it's out, that's just how it looks when it's been removed. There's two more screws that hold the <coughs> breaker points to the um, stator plate on the distributor. Careful for the screws, they tend to sometimes get lost or fall in. If they do fall into the distributor, they're fairly easily removed just by tipping it upside down and shaking it a little. Next, the bottom piece of the breaker point assembly comes out. And points are removed. This one here does show some little bit of scarring of being burnt, but it's not too bad. Now we're going to install new points condenser and I've got a kit here that also has a rotor because I intend to use a new rotor in the distributor when I put it back in the tractor. Along with the new parts I also get the feeler gauge comes in the kit. Um, all of the really better quality kits do come with everything you need including this and the um, Points will also come with the um, um, washer and the cotter key that you removed from the old set of points. They can be reused again if they're in good shape, but like I say, the better kits are supplied with these products. So you don't have to um, uh, reuse the old parts. Again, we'll start with the last piece we took out. We'll put this piece back in, uh, bottom of the breaker point assembly.
slides back in over the peg the way that the other one came out using the old screws. We'll reinstall the um, the um, the point, break your point here. And of course I would put these in somewhat loose at this point. Not tight and not snug, but just there. For now, that works perfectly. And then like I always try to do, I use the put the screw in here into the metal straps of the point, breaker point assembly, and I always put that in first, using that to hold the screw in place as I uh, install the uh, screw to the top piece. Trying to give everybody a better image of this, so trying to work with the uh, distributor in kind of an unconventional way. You'd want to uh, look at a better look at what you're doing when you're putting it together uh, on your bench versus trying to make sure everybody else can see what you're doing. And then again, here I will want to make it just there and uh, not really snug. Now I'll push my breaker points around until I can get them lined up onto that pin and slide it back down. Now they're in place. Just need to put the new washer in and the new powder key. Um, we're also going to be wanting to put... Sorry, I had to move that just so I could see. I'm going to be wanting to put some lubricant, some light grease on the cam lobes here of the distributor. You can see as I turn this that there are shiny spots that are high that um, gets lubricated for um, uh, wear against the plastic as it turns. Excuse me. Then we can go ahead and install our new condenser, fitting the wire in back where it was before, sliding it underneath the screw here that the coil contacts. And uh, again, you'll want that to be fairly snug, somewhat tight. And then we'll be able to put the last piece of hardware in here that holds the uh, bracket for the um, condenser. And again, we would want that to be fairly snug. Um, I can see here that it doesn't fit exactly perfectly in the housing. Take my thumbs and push down and it fits a perfect fit again. Now that we have all the pieces inside, we'll want to go ahead and tighten down um, the uh, screw here where it's attaching the points to the uh, insulator. And then we'll be ready to go ahead and adjust our points. Now as the cam turns, we want to feel a, a high point or a resistance and then adjust our screw so that when it hits that high point or resistance that we open a gap. Um, I know it's hard to see uh, if there's a if you can see the gap well or not but there there is one uh, obviously in real life it's easier to see than on the video um, and then of course we want to make sure that our our gap gauge fits in there nicely a little snug but um, uh, better than, uh, you know, what, don't want it loose. And then just keep on adjusting our points until 
we have the just the right fit. A little bit of drag on the on the feeler gauge is about perfect. Um, they tend to open up a little bit more as you um, tighten the points here at the stator plate. And of course, we're going to put um, some uh, lubricant on the cam, so that's also going to take a little bit of space. And then, of course, as you want to rotate the the cam, rotate the distributor to make sure that, in fact, the point gap is correct on more than just one cam, as these cams can get worn, and um, sometimes they are difficult to um, um, make them equal, make them uh, the gap open exactly the same on every one. Um, but we have a really nice fit, a nice uh, drag there on the um, feeler gauge. And all we'll be left to do is to put some grease here on the very edges of the uh, cams. Um, a light grease would be perfect. And um, the distributor has got its new set of points in it. Again, this is the beginning of a series of how-to videos that we'll be uh, making and um, that is uh, in essence what it takes to put the um, uh, points in a front mounted distributor for a flathead Ford tractor engine and the 9Ns, 2Ns and 8Ns. Thank you for watching our video and look forward to making more and, and having you watch more of them.